Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Fubagooba Plays Neko Navy. So, um, we've, we've done a couple episodes just kind of messing around trying to get a feel for the game. Uh, what I want to do now is kind of spend a couple episodes just getting used to each character here. Um, so we're going to be playing on hard mode. Uh, this episode is going to be a focus on Moogie here. I'm just going to try and get a feel for um, his abilities and his shot spread and the general play style, how we want to be using this, this particular character. So let's get started right away. So it's uh, been a little while since I've played last, so there's going to be some uh, warming up to be done here. But that's alright. Let me know what you think of the game so far, if this is something that uh, you'd like to keep seeing more of, or uh, if you enjoyed uh, the commentary, or uh, if, if you pl if you got the game for yourself and uh, you're enjoying it, just uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, for now, we're uh, just gonna play, play it as it is, you know? This is a very kind of relaxed first stage here, you know, not too difficult, you know, the enemies aren't too much of a problem, you can just kind of sweep up and down. This is the one thing I noticed about uh, this character and um, the other one with a, a big shot spread is that you really don't have to worry too, too much about um, the little guys, you know, you just kind of like fan up and down a little bit and they don't take too many hits, so the little bullets on, on either side will do a lot of the dirty work for you. But uh, I know Moogie in particular has a fairly concentrated uh, middle shot, so... Um, he also does a, a, a good deal of direct damage. So really, the, the way I see it, Moogie is kind of like... the middle ground in between the other two characters, so it's a very basic kind of feel to it, you know. Moogie is the generalist. Alright, so we're one phase down. Let's get the other Garm finished. Come on, there we go. Okay, so now he's in his final phase. So we don't have anything to worry about anymore. I'm going to try and pick up as many of these points as I can. Oh, almost got me there. That was... That would have been silly. There we go, he's done. Get out of here. I could have done a little bit better in terms of picking up coins, but um, I don't know what what else to call them. I've been calling them coins, I've been calling them points, calling them cats. You know, the little blue things that you pick up and, you know, they're worth points. I don't know if they have a real name other than that. But uh, this is this is what I'm going to stick with for now. So uh, onwards we descend into uh, day two. I don't know why they're called day one, two, three, etc. I mean, I don't think it took all day to get through that last area. Yeah, it took maybe a minute or two, honestly. That's pretty, uh, pretty simple matter. Yeah, like I was saying in the last video, it seems like the levels are, are very much just the same one after the next. So, you know, you kind of get used to, to memorizing the enemy patterns, but more than just uh, memorizing the enemy patterns and how they tend to shoot at you, I think after a good deal of playing this game, you start to memorize what enemies drop and when. See, I know that these these cube guys like to drop, I think, three times in total in this area. Yeah, you know what I really like about um, Moogie's special here is gave me the opportunity to kind of get out of a bad situation, do some crowd control. Um, oh, like that. I mean, it gives me some iframes as well, but... It was nice to just not have to get hit. So I think I'm going to start at the top. Um, with the flowers that are kind of up high, especially this, this purple one here, and just kind of work my way down. So that way I'm kind of being shot at by, I think, fewer flowers, or fewer bullets are kind of coming my way. Oh, I got hit twice. Damn. There's got to be a better way to do this. Oh my goodness. Wow. Alright, that's okay. I have some more tokens. We're not really worried about um, doing a super good job and getting a high score as much as just kind of feeling it out and 
learning a little bit about how to play this correctly. I think I had the right idea, I just like made, made a lot of mistakes in that boss fight. I don't know if it's best to work kind of layer by layer like that, or to kind of stay close to the center of the screen. I guess next time we'll, we'll revisit that and see how it goes. Alright, this level's pretty easy. I haven't actually seen the boss on this level. I don't know if there is a boss on this, on this level. Because, like, it's it's weird. I don't know what's what's gonna happen. All right, let's take out these dudes here. All right. So again, I mean, I can just kind of sweep up and down a little bit and take care of a lot of the little guys pretty easy. Mannequins are really easy to deal with when they pop in. They they're only. Or they're they're a little harder to deal with when they pop in. Oh, that was just super bad. I'm not proud of that in the least. All right, there we go. I dealt with that. When they pop in, they kind of throw a wall of bullets at you, but after that, they're pretty easy to deal with because you know you get a couple pretty easy to dodge between streams of bullets that you can uh, deal with. These guys, they're just basically erased before they get a chance to fire. No problem. I'm gonna clear these guys out before they start giving me trouble. Yeah, I think if I just make small corrections, I won't have to deal with too, too much. But these guys I want to get close to to make sure that I hit as many bullets as possible into there. Because they're gonna start pulling walls down from the ceiling and the floor, and I don't need that kind of trouble in my life. See, that's if that closes shut on me, I'm toast. No way. Yeah, these guys are just done. Get out of here. Not my freaking problem. See ya, nerd. These guys are kind of a pain. So they kind of throw bullets in every direction. But they also shoot directly at you. So I think you let them fire their, their main shot and dodge out of the way of that. And then just... You deal with it in two steps, you know? All right, these guys are roasted. Get the fuck out of here. It's a little tough to go in between their bullets, so that those guys I just have to kind of go around the airplanes. These guys, oh man. I just said I had them lo locked down, those ones. Oh, yep, he got me. That's okay. Let's just continue again. Please die. Oh, oh, did you see that? <laughs> that was freaking crazy. Oh my goodness. I, I'm pretty sure I only got away with that because I still had iframes. Yeah, okay, and there's no boss. That's fine. Um... At this point, I'm, I'm convinced that there just isn't a boss for this level. All right, let's see what's up next. So now we're going into the Sausage Fest, day four. I love the soundtrack. This is some sweet jams. It's got a little bit of like a Hotline Miami vibe, you know? It's good. All right, so these guys aren't really the big problem. The sausages are kind of fun to shoot at, but you know, they're, they are worth a lot of points. I'm happy to be collecting those, that's for sure. Let's get these guys out of here. Get out of here, you old fucks. These guys are also pretty easy to deal with. You just kind of stand still and they die. Oh, what the fuck? I wasn't paying attention. I guess something else got me. I'm gonna be really embarrassed if one of the turrets actually ended up getting me because I wasn't paying attention. Oh well. Uh, there we go. Like I said, the, uh, the, the quality of the commentary isn't gonna be super high for the first few episodes just because I'm still getting used to the game, but once, once I start to get, in, get into uh, autopilot territory with this, um, I'm going to be able to talk about some stuff and what's going on, but oh my goodness, I'm the kind of guy who can't walk into bubblegum at the same time. So for this kind of like high cognitive load, like bullet hell festivals, it's uh, pretty difficult to, to keep a running commentary. All right, so this is like maybe the second or third time I've actually seen this boss. So I'm pretty happy with my performance just getting this far. 
live lump of flesh, meat man. Okay, so I'm gonna try and shoot his arms here and dodge his attacks. Now, what got me the last time is he just kind of like charged forwards towards me this one time. Whoa. I fucking wrecked. Yeah, and he did that and I just freaking died. I didn't have time to get out of the way. All right, well then, I am not proud of that. Uh huh. I didn't even place, man, that sucks. I got another credit though. I don't know where they keep get coming from, honestly. I mean, I'll take it. Um, it's not really doing me mu that much of a favor in terms of getting progress. It kind of, it's kind of encouraging me to be bad at the game. But I'd rather kind of continue forward just to see what happens next than um, be a real hard-ass on myself during these recordings, you know? And just, like, kind of give up. I may as well play it through, right? Alright. Clear these guys out. No problems. I wonder if there's a way to, to speed up the timer. There probably is. Just to kind of skip the whole thing. Alright. These guys are getting roasted. Yeah, so... There's gonna be just a little bit of repetition in these, in this series, I think, because I'm gonna be repeating a lot of the same kind of screens again and again. I wonder if this is gonna be um, better to stream, actually, than to record. Let me know what you think. Uh, if you thought the, the video, these videos are kind of boring, you know. Um, I mean, I'm having a ball. I think this is a great game, but it doesn't always necessarily mean that it's, it's an ideal... Uh, video recording. There's only so many times I can comment on the same bosses without uh, getting old. Now if I get to the point where, you know, I can basically ignore the game and uh, do just goofy ass commentary then, that's one thing. But it's another if uh, it just kind of gets stale. Anyways. I'm on episode 3 and I'm already asking, hey guys, is this getting boring yet? I, I don't know if that's always a great sign. Anyways. I'm enjoying myself. There we go, get wrecked, go home. Yeah, alright, so I broke a thousand on level 1, which is... Um, usually, it's at least somewhat better than I normally do. So I'll take it. All right, so we haven't been hit yet. Let's try and get new goal, get through level two without getting hit. I wonder if getting more like brave notifications like that means that um, I'm gonna get more points out of them. I have no idea. Could be. Let's let's try that. Maybe it'll be worth worth more to get up and up close and personal. So far, so good. Or lucky. Whatever. Same thing, right? That's all that matters in the end. Uh-oh. Nope. Oh, nope. I was stupid. That's okay. We're still uh, doing okay. We didn't beat our goal, but I was being, like, needlessly brash at the same time, so... That's on me, honestly. Oh, damn. That was just silliness. Alright, tighten it down. Tighten it down. Let's go. Let's do some good work here. No, no, no need to throw it away. Get out of here. Oh, that's not the bomb button. Alright, you know what? I'm just happy to have the iframes there. Okay, so I've got uh, zero hits left and I'm fighting Flowey. Let's go with uh, center strats this time. I don't know if I'm going to have to deal with more shots or less as a result, but I guess we'll figure that one out. Oh, I blew one up already. Ah! You know what's giving me trouble is that, that jerk at the bottom there. The red flower here. So maybe instead of working top down, we should work bottom up. Oh, I've already been hit. This sucks. Because the violet one that spews the really big bullets is not as much of a problem. That's relatively easy to dodge because there aren't as many bullets. And they're pretty slow.
but um, having lots and lots of little ones flying all over the place is kind of a pain. Alright, so this guy's roasted, but uh, still not super happy with my performance so far. Still, I'm racking up the points. I'm doing better than I was before, I think. I only got hit maybe twice in that fight? Maybe three times? I was really dumb and I got hit a bunch on, like, the actual level, so... Oh, rats. Yeah, just continue. Alright, so I have to start over with my points, but again, that's fine. Doesn't matter that much. Like I said, we're not, uh... We're not going for high scores in this in this episode. We're trying to feel out the characters and uh, when it's appropriate to use the abilities, where the strengths are in terms of getting close or staying far away. I think um, this is a this is a character that kind of benefits from getting close or staying far away. You get a little bit of uh, opportunity because um, you get a really direct stream with um, with Miracle, the red one. Um, but that means that you can kind of snipe from across the screen really accurately. Whereas this one, if you're far away, you hit like a lot of targets, but you don't necessarily damage the really hard ones um, all that much. To do that, you have to get close to them. And that uh, requires all kinds of cojones to do that. Like, uh, like for in those cases, those, those ones that like to close the doors on you, it's not as big of a problem, because they don't actually shoot. You just stand there and they die, basically. Um, but some of the other targets, it's uh, more of a problem. See, these guys, I just stand back and move up and down a little bit, and they're done for. You know. I think that's the strategy here. I don't know if I should stay closer or get further away from those little hot dog cat things. Maybe further away is the name of the game, just so that they all kind of die at around the same time. So I'm not dodging in and out of bullets while dealing with one at a time. These guys can just fuck right off. These guys I'm getting close to. You get the, the concentrated shotgun blast. Now, of course, with a cat like Chioko, I mean, you're, you, it's really hard to concentrate your fire. That was really lucky. Um, just because the bullets are so spread out. But he's really good for crowd controlling the little stuff for that reason. And, you know, you can still do the same thing if you get close enough. But uh, you have to be right up in their business. Whoops. I don't know why I keep thinking that's, like, the B button. It's the X button, you goof. Which is apparently pause in this game and not the start button. Whatever. I guess it works, but still. I love this track. This is so good. All right. Let's see if we can beat this boss. We still got an extra credit. We still have, like, an extra hit on this life, on this credit. So, uh, we have a... Okay, so... We have, uh, an extra credit. <laughs> After this. That's fine. Power-up is nice to have. Yeah. The bomb, I think, is really good against the boss to, uh basically just deal a lot of damage to specific areas. I wonder what happens if I just like put it, damn it, here in the middle and just let it eat things that comes into the screen. I wonder if that's valuable. To make sure I kind of dodge correctly for these turrets. These guys have given me a little bit of trouble. Yeah, these frogs just have to fuck off and die too. I don't like those. Because those, those get out of hand because they shoot bullets all over the damn place. These guys are not a problem because you can just shoot them before they get the chance to basically spawn at all. The hot dogs are just kind of there. Make sure I don't run into them like an idiot. Yeah, these guys didn't have a freaking chance. Get out of here. Go home. This is my home. This is my house now. This is my world. This is my meat factory. These... Oh, that, okay. Fuck that guy to death, honestly. That's just ridiculous. I hate that. Maybe those guys need to get bombed, I don't know. Oh, holy crap. I wonder if playing this on like a really big monitor is actually kind of harming my performance, because I have a fairly large monitor. Not to like 
do like the dick waving thing, but it does mean that uh, I have to move. Damn it, that's the one I want. It does. Whoa, yep, yeah, okay. That's new. Oh, yeah, he's got. Oh, he missed me. I, he didn't get me that time. Ha! That's right. Jerk, eat it. Holy crap. I hate this. Yeah, that's that's rude. No, not that button, this button. Come here. Oh, no! Okay, I have one more try. Let's go. I think I got him. I think I got him. I get to see what the next stage is. This is so exciting. I mean, it only took me, like, about a bazillion lives to get this far, but, you know, that's beside the point. Cool! That might be a new record for myself as well. Oh my goodness. Look at... <laughs> you know what this is? This is the scene from Aladdin near the beginning, you know? When he gets the genie, when he finds the lamp, in, like, this place. In that, in that tomb in the desert. And if he touches anything... Like, the, the temple collapses and eats him. And that's basically what just happened. I hate that. All right, well, um, that was cool. I'm glad I got to see that. Apparently this wasn't a new record in the slightest, so uh, I'll go fuck myself, basically. Let, let's look at this, let's look at the Steam rankings. I'm curious, I need, I need to have my, my ego stroked. I'm actually down in 10th place. Somebody else has knocked me down a peg since I since I last played. All right. No, you don't understand. I want hard mode. There we go. I, that means I need to step it up a little bit. All right. Let's get mo Okay, so we're going to beat we're going to beat day 1 without getting hit. And then we're going to beat day 2 without getting hit. I don't know how that's going to happen yet, but that's the goal. So the power-up's going to go a long way in helping that along. I think I'm starting to get, like, a feel for it. Right, let's get these guys out of here. I love these, these toothpaste monsters. Pretty much all the character in this game, characters in this game are just freaking adorable. I love it. No, I don't want to dive into the lore too much for a game where you play as a flying cat that shoots lasers out its face. But like, where do these cats come from? What is their purpose? Are they, are they part of some kind of paramilitary group? Is there actually a navy full of these, these cats that fly around and destroy enemies of light bugs and flying tubes of toothpaste. Furthermore, what kind of invading alien force decided it'd be a good idea to invade the planet Earth using flying tubes of toothpaste? It's a bit of a dis bizarre ship design, don't you think? I'm probably reading into this a little bit too much. Alright, well, let's roast this guy. We're gonna do the same strategy because you know it's working so far I guess oh damn okay well I want to get those points back I'm I'm a little bit upset about that I don't like getting hit on the first level I should not be letting that happen just because like come on at this point you've played it so many times Still, good number of um, little cap coins collected there. That's something I can feel good about. This one, I think we can, well, at least get to the boss without getting hit. I don't know if we can beat the boss without getting hit. That'll be the day. Let's let's focus on getting to the boss without getting hit, and then maybe we'll beat the boss only getting hit once. We're gonna try a new strat. We're to try and stay low and work our way up, rather than the other way around. Staying in the center is just a fucking clusterfuck. I'd hate that. That doesn't work. Um, 
but working from the top was like slightly better. But I think the the really confusing ones came from came from below. Because I was really not expecting it. That's where I really get pegged from behind. There's there's a joke there somewhere. Yeah, I like using the bombs in this area just to kind of deal with the, the cubes that fall from the sky. Alright, so I got hit. That was badly timed on my part as far as cube placement goes. Like the green spear of death. But, you know, that's okay. Because, like, I know I regenerate the... Yeah, now I'm going to put that there. Good, okay, that was good. So we're going to stay low, and we're going to try and take out that red flower first, because that is the biggest pain of the dick. I hate that. And, like, any other shots that hit something else is going to be good for business, basically. Damn it. All right, that's fine. We're just gonna keep going. We're gonna implement the same strategy. Everything's good. All right, so that one's down. What's next? Blue? Let's say blue's next. Okay, good. Uh, these are all kind of floating around the same level. So I think we can just kind of stay in the middle of the screen, basically, and just keep firing. I can't tell if I'm just dodging the hits really well or if I'm just kind of staying alive because I have iframes for a really long time, and then I just get hit immediately and die. Yeah, okay. I do not have a good way of dealing with this. It's, 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 it's hard to be able to, to see the code, as it were. Damn it. Yeah, I'm having trouble with this. Because this isn't like, I can't do the same thing as with Chiyoko, where I just kind of stay in the center and hit everything. But it's not... But you're not quite as good as, as Miracle at uh, concentrating fire at one thing at a time, so you have to get kind of close to stuff. I don't know. It's, this might just be a... Um, uh, one of those things where you're a uh, jack-of-all-trades and master of none. Hard to say. In the meantime, let's just uh, get all these guys done for this. Oh, man. I was just going to say that this is a pretty easy level, too. But, yeah, the problem is I'm just not concentrating anymore. You know, not that button. I want this button. They're dealt with. Get him out of here. Yeah, I'm having to, to concentrate a little bit harder than I otherwise might. Because I am getting my ass kicked by this game right now. Come on. Oh, did I get hit? Man, I didn't even notice. What the heck? I'm just getting a little bit of sensory overload, you know? There's so much going on right now. This is the kind of game that, like, you can really play for maybe an hour, half an hour, and then, like, maybe play a different game. <laughs> I'm not saying it's bad, it's just, like, very difficult to, uh, to concentrate on for long periods of time. It's exhausting. He's done. All right, so deal with these guys by just basically dodging around their bullet walls. These guys, I think you hang back a little bit just so that they're firing less at you. If they all die at around the same time, there's less to deal with because they don't have that many hit points. All right, so we're coming up to the end here. I wonder if the bosses that you run into are tied to um, the difficulty setting. Like maybe there's, maybe there is a like an evil doctor or something. If you go into death mode, who knows? All right, sausage fest. Um, we're on our last hit. 
So don't 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 frig it up, basically. I, I was so bold at the beginning of this video. What's going on? We gotta I, maybe maybe that's the secret. You just have to be a little bit more bold than you than you think you do. Get get close to enemies. Really blast them. Lay into them. You know. Like, I'm starting to think that maybe, like, Miracle is easy mode, because you can you can fire from across the screen, whatever you want, but if uh, you, you want to do real damage with, uh, with these ones, you have to get close. It forces you to be brave. Without a doubt, I'm pretty sure that uh, Mugi here has the best special attack. Because the, the flamethrower is really, I've found to be like too too short range and too narrow to be super worthwhile for Miracle's attack. And uh, I, I don't feel like um, Chiyoko's lightning attack does enough damage. It, it covers the whole screen and it'll basically knock out all the little guys like these, but like who cares? I can do that myself. I guess, I guess it has to do with playstyle too, like, I like to use the bombs on bosses to deal, like, chunks of damage. Okay, so yeah, those big cube things that, like, shit bullets everywhere, you just kind of have to get past the initial ring and really lay into them. You have to get close. Man, stop! Ah, oh, man, I thought I was gonna get away with that. Oh, well, that's okay. So, let's see if we have time for another one. All right, so we'll call that the end of this video. Um, if you enjoyed what you saw, please uh, remember to click the like button, uh, comment, and subscribe to the video, or to my channel, if uh, it does help out a great deal. Um, but for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.